Welcome to the Deck Tech. I'm Ian Duke, and with me is special guest Simon Nielsen, Team Eureka member and connoisseur of fine ties. Simon has brought with him today Jund Delirium as his deck of choice. Tell us briefly, before we get into the card by card, um, yeah. tell us all about the deck you brought and how your team came to build it. Okay, so the deck we brought is uh, a deck that aims to control the game and stall with cards like Languish and Ishkana, mm -hmm. uh, enabling the graveyard um, to get Delirium, and then slam Emrakul for the end game. So you can classify it as an Emrakul deck, right? It is an Emrakul deck, but it's only one of them. <laughs> okay. And why did your team decide to play this deck? Um, so we had a Teamer Delirium quite early, a Teamer um, Emerge quite early, uh, but we figured that we rather would want to play Distended Mindbender to play against all of the random decks that people probably were going to bring. Okay. Um, so we came up with some decks with like Haunted Dead, these card Coast Lakes Return to be able to emerge that, but it was just too, it was just really cute, and in the end, we decided to just cut all like, the bad cards, or at least most of them, <laughs> and uh, just sh shave down to like Ishkana, Languish, Emrakul as okay. our game plan. So it's kind of like the intersection between the Delirium package with Emrakul, but also making sure you can play Distended Mindbender. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. All right, so let's jump into the card by card, and you can walk us through here. So it's a Delirium deck, uh, first and foremost. These are some of the big payoffs for Delirium. For sure. Talk to us about these Delirium cards. Okay, so um, I guess one of the, <laughs> we can start with Emrakul. Uh, because like, that card is our end game, so that is what we're working towards. Usually when you have a take that tries to go long, you want to start with what is the end game and then work backwards from there. Um, but we don't really want to draw like two 13 mana cards in the opening hand. So uh, that's why we're playing three Traverse the Ulenwald. Okay, these are kind of like Emrakul's two exactly. through four in a way? Exactly. They can get Emrakul uh, when you need that, but they can also get you a land, uh, get a sorcery into the graveyard, uh, or they can usually get Ishkana. It also happens a lot. Um, so Ishkana is the way we stall out the game for Emrakul, because it is, even though we can easily cast Emrakul for six mana on this deck, we have all card types, mm -hmm. um, we still, uh, it still takes some time to get there, and Ishkana is the perfect roadblock, because along the way we will get Delirium, and this card just, like, people cannot break through it easily. They, they can, but it will take time, and at that mm -hmm. point we will be at Emrakul. Okay, so Ishkana, it's kind of like buying time for your, your big heavy yes. hitter here. Now, Mindrack Demon, I want to talk about for a moment. We've seen various flavors of Delirium here all weekend. Some yeah. of them have been more aggressive, playing cards like Grim Flayer and up to four copies of Mindrack yeah. Demon. You have just two copies here. Does that mean it's not pro part of your primary game plan? Uh, it's more of like a value card? Or? It is. Actually, we started with zero. We weren't even thinking of this card. Okay. So usually it would be four cut down to two. But in this case, um, uh, in this case, Mindbreak Demon is a card we wanted because it survives language, and we wanted some more effects that mill ourselves, but are actually creatures that we can find with Grapple uh, with okay, the Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So that's why I play Mindbreak Demon, and we don't want to play too many because it's not that good against Band Company. We thought that would be the most popular deck. So in a sense, Mindrack Demon is here as much to enable Delirium yeah. as to be a Delirium payoff. Yeah, it's more like an enabler, actually. Okay, yeah. very cool. Also, Chris Rafe leading to Ishkana. Yep. All right, let's check out the next group of cards. And here we have some of the Delirium enablers. Walk us through what we have here. Yeah, so we have the only enchantment in the deck, uh, Vessel of Nascency, uh, and Grapple with the Past. Both are able to mill you. Um, so you can get your Delirium online, you want to mill some lands, and Vessel is perfect because it gets an enchantment into the graveyard. The problem with this card is that it's uh, kind of slow and clunky. Uh, I don't really want to spend all your early game just doing this. That's fair. Um, and we also have Liliana. So the way that Grapple and Liliana works is that this gives you an engine where you can just keep recurring all your important cards. Like, if your Emrakul gets milled, that's perfect. That's like, Liliana becomes a tutor for it. Right, in some sense, like, even playing one Emrakul, you can still be sure you'll find it in a game between yeah. Traverse, between Liliana, and Grapple with the Past Also, as well. Liliana is only playing Swalker, so we want to have all card types covered. Oh, it's extra yeah, card yeah. type as well. Yeah, that definitely counts here, cool. And it has a lot of other cool synergies in the deck, but <laughs> that'll take a while to cover all of that. Very, very nice. Yeah, let's take a look at what we have next. Yeah. Okay, um, so uh, you talked about Distended Mindbender here, so you also have a little bit of an Emerge package, which is also something we've yeah. seen in other decks here this weekend, but this is kind of your own unique twist on it. Uh, tell us about this combination of cards and how they work together. Yeah, so this is, uh, I wouldn't even call it my own uh, <laughs> uh, version of it, because this is uh, mostly built by uh, Matson Miller in particular and Manus Lanzo. Okay. Um, especially Miller was very, very confident of, uh, putting, uh, of having Mindbender, so we tried to build a deck with four Mindbenders for Coastlix Return, try to build them as a merge decks, but we realized that that wasn't really panning out, so we just trimmed on that and up the Delirium part of the deck. Okay, makes a lot of sense. Um, so if you have Mindbender, even though we only have two, but we also have Traverse to get it. Plenty of ways to yeah. find it, yeah. Um, you want something to sacrifice, and the free drops are perfect for that. 
Um, so it looks a bit weird to have the Nissa Pilgrim's Eye split. Um, Nissa is obviously a better card, uh -huh. um, but you do want to have some uh, some number of artifacts in your deck. So that is why we have uh, some Pilgrim's Eye as well. Plus the okay, mana so yet again, intentionally varying up your card types to yeah. enable Delirium a little bit better. Um, and then Coast Lake Return is like it's the perfect combo with Mindbender. <laughs> you get to sweep their hand and their board. They're left with nothing. That sounds they, awesome. If they have collected company, if you, normally when you merge something and play Coast Lake Return, they can just okay. company it into them anyway. But Mindbender doesn't let them do that because you just this. Either they play company response and you sweep the board. Right, there's no safe place to yeah, hide, yeah. right? Between or you that just discard out of the hand. Very cool. Now, Distended Mindbender, obviously just a very powerful card in its own right. Yeah. Was it specifically targeted at a certain deck or a certain aspect of the metagame, or is it more of just to cover your bases against um, anything kind so of a deal? So basically, a lot of the decks that beat Band Company are decks that go over the top. Mm -hmm. So a lot, we had a lot of decks built that actually beat Band Company, and Mindbender just wrecks them all. So that's oh. why we thought that this card is really good against our metagame. Okay. So the other guys are probably going so to So it's like the, the next thing. level yes. after what beats yeah. Band Company is Distended Mind. Exactly. Vendor. Also, Coast Extra Turn is pretty good with the self mill we have. Um, in some of the earlier versions, we are very light on red mana, so we're just planning on milling into a graveyard. Okay. Uh, this one actually has red mana, so it's also pretty nice to just cast it. Very nice. All right, and let's take a look at what we have next here. So this is kind of your removal suite, helps yep. you cover your bases a little bit. Um, any particular, you know, stories behind exactly this combination of cards and these numbers? Uh, yeah, I mean, language is Liliana and language is uh, just a really good package against uh, Band Company, so that's something uh, we really wanted to play. Mm -hmm. um, buys your time and so all that. Fire Impulse is an interesting card, though, because the deck was originally black-green, as I said, it couldn't actually cast a uh, Coast Extra Turn. Um, and so, but we decided to add Fire Impulse to um, uh, to have more early game, because if you play Vessel of Nathancy, you're gonna like dirtle a lot in the early round, so you really want a cheap removal spell to catch you back up when okay. you spend so much time dirtling and doing nothing. Also, it kills Spell Queller. It's pretty important. Yeah, that seems really important to me. Now, question for you. How hard is it to achieve Spell Mastery? Since you're intentionally varying up your card types for Delirium, does that come at odds to having enough instants and sorceries for this? We are also intentionally milling cards into a graveyard, That's so it's fair. actually not very hard at all. <laughs> okay, great. So you can expect that to be dealing three damage pretty consistently yes, yes. there. Awesome, love it. Love the, the language inclusion as well. So we're on to the mana base here. I don't expect you to go through all the dual lands in detail because obviously you need to cast your spells, yeah. but can you just tell us a little bit about generally how the mana works, what colors do you want to find early, how stable is the mana base? Okay, so I think the mana base is very stable even though we're playing three colors because red is just a light splash. Also, Traverse helps with fixing the mana base. Oh, yeah. And Pilgrim's Eye helps, and Gravel with the Past helps, and Vessel helps. It's just, it just works <laughs> so smoothly. Um, so, yeah. It's, it's pretty obvious uh, what we have here, but uh, you're going to search for a lot of basic lands, and you want to get forest first, okay. uh, because a lot of your engine cards are green, mm -hmm. and then you want to get double black, because you have so many double black cards in the deck, mm -hmm. uh, and then you, red is the uh, fourth priority, because you don't have them in red spells. So it's best to think of this as a base black-green deck yes. with red as sort of a splash there. Okay, it excellent. Also, obviously, it depends on your hand. Another important part of the mana base is to make sure you have enough untapped green sources on turn one, because you want to... If you have a tap green land to play Vessel, it is so, 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 um, so slow. Like when, you, when you just go turn one Vessel, turn two crack it, right. that's smooth. But when you have to go tap land, then Vessel, then next turn crack it. Oh. That's a very, very good point. Absolutely agree. So we have four land more wasters to come up for that. And as we can see, the next slide. Yep. Um, we also have six four. So that's ten sources. I mean, you would rather have a bit more, but it's fine. Right. That's pretty, also why we don't play the full four Pretty healthy amount of basic lands also. 14 basic lands. Yeah. That's, that's, or sorry, 11 basic lands. Yeah, I mean, we also we search a lot of basic lands. We mill some, so we don't want to like run out. Right. And also Thalia is a thing. So we, yeah, we want to that's cover That's a very good there. point. Yep, got to keep that in mind as well. Okay, well, it's been awesome. Thanks so much, Simon. Deck Thank looks you. really cool. Definitely give it a try at your FNM. Uh, thanks for being with us here.